dear friends welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to teach you how to make single atom catalyst using fullery c60 and c70 so if you like my video you can click subscribe and comment and share to your friends and also like so now we will see how to make a single atom catalyst using this fullerenes For that, first we need to open your Material Studio software. So this is our Material Studio software. So now we can drag our C60 molecule here. So already downloaded from that uh, crystal crystallographic website. So just I will drag that C60 molecule here. So this is the C60 molecule. Uh, this is the C60 molecule mole five. So just I will drag this to here. After dragging, it will open like this. So now we can make bond and stick model. So just uh, right click, go to display style. Here you can see ball and stick just click ball and stick and also you can decrease this uh, stick radius to one so this four is fine so just close it so you can use this to rotate so you can get our c60 full length so now we will make um, single atom catalyst on this fluorine c60 so i will tell you how to make and also I will tell you how to anchor single atom and also how to add absorbent like O2 CO. So you can watch this video. So here you can see a different kind of uh, CC is there. So you have to delete this two carbon only. Then only you will get four pyridinic nitrogen. So otherwise you will get two pyridinic, two pyrolic. I think that may not be the stable one. Maybe this the fourth pyridinic one only. I think stable one. So now we can delete two atom. So for that, just to go and click this arrow and click this atom, it will mark as a yellow color. Then you can press delete in the keypad. It will go. And the second atom for so this one. Uh, that also just you can click this arrow and click it will show highlight uh, yellow color just you can move it here and there you can see so now you can press the delete button on the keyboard it will go so now we have removed two carbon atom in the c60 molecule so so this is the one now we can add nitrogen atom four nitrogen atom see this one this one, this is the second one, this third one, this is the fourth one. You can see everything is mm, benzene, finite benzene rings. So now we can make this atom into nitrogen. For that, what you have to do? We have, we have to select the atoms. So just you can uh, go click this arrow and select, then press control. Then you can select other uh, three atoms. So now so, so we have selected that four atom. You can press this to rotate the molecule C60 fluorines. So now we can make this four carbon atom into nitrogen. So we have selected this four atom. Just go to modify. Here you can see modify element. Just you can go to here periodic table. Just click it. Here you can see different kind of things. So we want nitrogen, just click nitrogen. It will change nitrogen. Otherwise, if you want to do directly, just go to modify, click lemon. Here also some important molecule uh, atoms there. Hydrogen, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, sulfur, phosphorus. So you can also click nitrogen here. So if you want to add metal atom, you have to go to PA tube. So that's all. Now you can click here anywhere in that uh, black color screen. 
you can see four hydrogen atom added into the C60 fullerenes. So now we can add metal atom here. So now only then only our single atom catalyst is complete. So for that, what you have to do? Just uh, click this uh, sketch. So here you can change into. Here also you can see periodic table. Just you can click this uh, add small uh, triangle kind of things. Then you can go to periodic table. You can see different can periodic table. Here you can see transition metal. Just you can select which metal you want. You can select I want Fe. Just I will select Fe and you click OK. That's all. Now I will uh, keep this uh, um, the pencil curve sketch curve somewhere. It will highlight like this. Then so it will come like this. Just you can leave it like like that. So it will come like that. Now you can delete uh, some other uh, the second AP atom. So now we have to manage to fix center of the point. Then you can click arrow. Select that atom. Just you can move here and there. You can fix the center of the pot. So I think this uh, near to the center. Then what you have to do if you want to connect with uh, other nitrogen, then you have to click this calculate bond. So if you click this calculate bond, it will make connection with other nitrogen. So now our single atom is ready. This is the Fe doped fullerenes. So now we can add any absorbent. So we can add CO molecule or N2 molecule. So we will add N2 molecule here. So what you have to do just to click that one first you have to select that. So just to keep this otherwise it will select all the atom. So select this one and also go to FP. This is sketch. Then you can click nitrogen. So just to keep that sketch here, it will highlight like this. Then you can click two times. So if you click three times, it will come. Oh, no problem. We can delete it. The third nitrogen. So now we can make it into linear straight. So nitrogen, nitrogen bonded, so I will come 1.09. After absorption, it may be slightly more bonded. Yes, it will come around 1 point, maybe 2 something. So now you can click this calculate bond, you will get. So you yeah, triple bond here. So now we have created our single atom um, catalyst with absorbed N2 molecule. So this is the way just you can uh, use uh, this fullerenes. I will share this mode file for you. You can make it your single atom catalyst, study DFU calculation and publish the papers. So, so this is actually without to sell. So if you want to use Gaussian, you can use uh, this model you can save as a mole and convert into dot um, gja file using that gas view. So if you want to use a demo three or rasp, so you need to put this molecule into the um, unit cell, cubic cell.
so i will tell you that now so for that what you do just you can open one new if you click this one it will new 3d automatic open just you can edit and open it so here you have to build your unit cell so go to build you can see here crystal build crystals so here you can fix the lattice parameter mostly you can fix 20 i think 20 is enough so abc you can put 20 20 so this alpha beta is 90 if you can click build it will build it there your uh, cubic unit cell so now what you have to do you have to copy our just what you have to do and just press uh, control and drag like this and uh, left click and you can select so now what you do you can right click copy go to this unit cell now you can paste it so it will paste like this so you have to move the molecule inside that you need to so keep the C is straight so like this or like this so you can um, change the position of nitrogen like a c axis that's all our c60 fullerene we have to drop the N2 of child molecule is ready. Now you can add, if you want to proton to add here, you can also directly like what I had uh, this N2 molecule like that. You can add, you can do your catalytic pronunciation. So I will share this uh, C60 and C70 fullerene. So you can uh, download it and uh, use it for your research purpose. So now we can save this molecule as a C5. So go to file, export. So here we can have to change into C format. Click C. C60. If and so just you can make it on children like this. So so this is our C file for that C sixty F E N two molecule. So you can use Vesta to view this molecule also. Just open your Vesta software. This is very useful stuff software. You can download it. So just drag into Vesta. So this is our. So you can go to full of lines. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching if you like my video please like comment and share and subscribe to my channel thank you